So uh, today we are now upstairs in a special, you call this the museum, don't you? We call it the museum, yeah, but it's a nickname of it. And, and true, it is a meeting room and um, we use it for the theory. So we have daily or weekly guys for training here and of course one part of the training is a theory. So we have mm. this special room and um, yeah, all the leather samples what you see here is a uh, uh, collecting the last 20 years. There are a lot of dead animals around here. Um, essentially, I call this more the mausoleums because <laughs> of it. Um, but um, leather, a lot of people think leather is just pig leather or cow leather, but actually you can make leather from a variety of animals, more or less any animal with skin. Every, every animal. Yes. Um, so even a toad, this this is real. Uh, he's got the, the wobbly eyes, but apart from that, this is this is genuine toad. Um, he died a peaceful death. Um, but what was interesting is all these other things. So tell us what we've got in front of us. No. So this is um, this is leather from um, chicken feet. Chicken feet, so literally the feet. Of the feet, there yeah, so they pull up the skin and um, tenure it to leather and then they stick it together. So as you see, it's small parts just mm -hmm. from it and it gets this special looking. Now this is from a, from a, from a char. From a? But, um, Ram is in the background, so he can shark leather. <laughs> shark leather, yeah. So jewels, yeah. Yeah. Jewels, <laughs> yeah. So the shark. What well, is much shots. more yeah. smoothy than, or not? It's very really dry and smoothy, no? Yeah. It doesn't feel it's what you expect, maybe. No, no quite. And they got yeah. the blood stains off as well, yeah. so that's quite good. Yeah. As well. <laughs> um, one thing to say is a lot of the, the products we've got here have been are kind of. Uh, you are done legally because obviously shark fishing and stuff is, is, is not it's not legal it's not legal, legal. Yeah. Um, but these have all been got with licenses and for the purposes of, of demonstration and the rest of it so before anyone writes in um, <laughs> that's all good and this one is particularly interesting yeah this is uh, the leather from this fish who produce uh, caviar so sturgeon basically sturgeon. massive great fish that cruise um, in mostly around Russia in very cold temperatures and yes, create yeah. the caviar and it's you see it and you feel it also on, 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 on his skin or on this leather this is really a an old animal mm -hmm. who is not has a big changing, so it feels like a dysauria. No? Well, I think sturgeon can last for certainly decades. I, wouldn't be, I think that they're one of the oldest fish. I think you can sort of they can last a hundred yeah. years or something like yeah. that. I will check and, and confirm. But um, no, it's amazing, amazing skin. That. Yeah, it is. Um, and then you have a book of, of skin. Yeah, we have. So when we do the theory, we, we go over this book. This is a bow tie with yeah. a toad's head on. So that's tasteful. For your next. Oh, well, my, my next no. date, yes. For your next date. That's a talking <laughs> point. <laughs> it is a talking point, yeah. <laughs> now, when, when I do theory, so we have the screen there, I show some, some pictures, so we give also the people an idea. Um, this is, um, that is something that is possible to repair. This is too worse, you can't repair it, mm -hmm. so that they get a better feeling for this. And what we also do, we give him an idea what he can charge. So when exactly. a detailer comes to us so that they get the idea I have the steering wheel in this condition, I need two or three hours or mm -hmm. maybe a whole day and you have to charge something yeah, between this. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, it depends on which country you live also. And if you, in, I guess in UK, in London, it's going to be more expensive than it would then be in Coventry. In, yes, yeah. I suppose, yes. So, no, that's the two places I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 London from Ramner and um, Coventry from Wexstock. Ah, yeah, that's good. Well, no, I was also in Birmingham in a burger shop mm -hmm. without burgers. Well, that was also a good experience. <laughs> <laughs> right, before we get too excited about Birmingham, yeah. so no one ever. Um, yeah. What have we got in this little booklet of yours? So we have here elephant. This elephant is a real skin. elephant skin. Yeah, this is um, hippo. Okay. Yeah. Uh, skin real. This is a crocodile, real crocodile. Mostly, when you when you see crocodile leather, it is cow leather embossed to crocodile. Yes. yes. So actually, crocodile leather is often fake when you're in there. But yes. this is real crocodile. This is from the very very rare gloss black crocodiles um, that exist in certain parts of the Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> so this is um, how you pronounce it, Strosic or ostrich? Ostrich. Ostrich. Big yeah. stroppy birds. Yes. So we have also up there a, a full one. This is from the horse. Horse leather, yeah. So shergar, yeah. Yeah. So this is pig leather, for example. And what's interesting here, you can really see the, the texture of this leather with the sort of the hairs and stuff. It's it, it looks very like human skin when you take it off and, and flatten it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 This is from um, 
Schaf, I don't know the translation, so this small animal with the horns on it. Small with horns. Yeah, goat. 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 goat, yeah, thanks. Goat. Phew, I'm glad yeah. somebody got that. <laughs> yeah. And then we have a lot of other, we have salmon here, we have snake leather, we have um, um, belly from a cow, so inside. Yeah, with red the horns stomach there. lining. Yeah. yeah, so end and end, so a lot of things here around. And um, what we have now here is the three most common different kind of chemicals what they use to tanny leather. Mm -hmm. So this is a vegetable tent. Vegetable tent, yeah. yeah. It's more expensive and not so much on the market. Mostly cars who was producing before 75 okay. has this kind of leather or this kind of tannery system. And um, the newer one have um, chrome or um, synthetic tannery. So that is in the wet blue and that is a wet white. And um, there's a yeah, it's independent what the what the car industry wants. So being a tan that goes right the way through the material. Yeah. Yes. Rather rather than a top coat where it's just sprayed on top. Yeah. Well. Now this this is a crust leather. We call it crust leather. So this is not a re ready to use leather. Mm -hmm. It is a it is a um, a half finished leather. So after this they have to tan tannery again. They have mm -hmm. to tint it. And they have to do something with the surface, so that is nothing what you can what you can use straight away. So there's always something between. And then what we have here is also here's a nabak, here's a oh, oh so this is new bag, new bag, yeah. yeah. So sand it on the surface. Yeah. And then we have here a open pore leather with um, with a with a little bit um, fat. Um, Cracky. When you say open pore, so this is aniline. It's an aniline with a with a um, fat surface finishing. Or with a fat finishing, so when you stretch, you see it comes lighter, mm -hmm. yeah. And when you go with a finger over it, you can make it darker again. Or with a scratch, and then you go with a finger over it. About the heat, you can. And what would that be used in? What? Mostly, mostly um, for for um, accessories, so um, bags. Oh, I see accessories for good. yeah. Yeah, so it's more fashion. Yeah. Some jackets also, and you can find also some some expensive furniture, but it's it's wrong. It's wrong. Yeah. yeah. So it's more for bags in the road. And, and so that is an embossing leather, around about 150 years old. So to wow. show how it's still flexible and works when you have a good. When it's been looked after and yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. When you look after, when the quality of the leather is good, no. Mm -hmm. So then we have here some some pigmented leather, what what normally car leather, mm -hmm. know, to show the people the different, and um, that is some more different yeah, kind of colors. Familiar. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, yeah, I think typical Mercedes or BMW. And this would be top coat leather. Yeah, this is yeah. a top coat leather. So there's a layer of primer color and top coat, yes. yeah, or clear coat. Yeah. Then we have this um, blank leather, what is very stiff, stiff yeah. and. Sometimes they use it for Bauhaus shares or mm -hmm. for um, other things or for a, a saddle for horses. Yeah. Okay. They use this kind and, of leather. Is that from a certain sort of animal or just a certain thickness that's just been cut thick? The thickness is um, about it. They cut it um, not so thin who they cut um, um, or they split um, a car leather. This is only mm -hmm. this thing. Yeah? So a real original. Height is more or less three, three and a half centimeters. Okay. Then they remove the, the B, a little bit B from the backside and then they split the leather. And then the, you have split leather and you have grain leather. Mm -hmm. And in the car industry, we hope that they use grain leather, um, but then a thinner one. And this is just not cut it so much or it's not split it on the whole thing. That is the reason why it's thicker. And then it's a special process after tannery um, that they get it so hard. I see. Yeah? So they make it wet. Let it dries and they press it again, then make it wet again, wet, press it, wet, press it, wet, okay, press and that it. So the yeah, and then it comes harder and harder. They press the small fibers, but there's a long fibers more and more together. I see. Yeah. yeah. And in the car industry, they do the opposite thing. They put it in a bulk fuss and make it more smoothy, so, that, the, yeah. that the fibers in the leather comes. So they get more leather for the. Yeah, they <laughs> not, not really more leather, but oh. yeah. But you see, that you can produce a thick leather also soft. That is a typical okay. furniture leather on really expensive, high quality furniture you you can get. Uh, that is, mm. exactly. yeah, yeah. So that is more than the original thickness, and everything what we have in car is splitted. Gotcha. Yeah. Now this is again a nabak. That's very nice. Yeah. Also a very good one. This is a sweat. Mm -hmm. So this is split leather. 
Gotcha. Yeah. So this is not Alcantara, but it's what a lot of people mistake Alcantara to be. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not Alcantara. So is this a split leather or suede? Mm -hmm. S-U-E-D-A, no? Yes, suede. And suede, yeah. Right, suede shoes. So, yeah. And um, what it is actually is, so the leather is together like this. This is a whole height. Mm -hmm. And then they split it. And then we have grain mm -hmm. leather and we have split leather. And if you send it the grain side where the hairs was before, mm -hmm. you get nabak. Yeah. And if you have the split side and you send it, yeah. then you get straight. Then this, in compare, it is a cheaper one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, and um, so here we have a, a bicast leather. This is a leather. It's also a split leather, and they put a fold on the top. Okay. To make it more stable and to to give him this glossy. Glossy finish. finish. That's quite a cheap, cheap cut leather. Uh, it depends. You will find a lot of cheap versions, mm -hmm. but there's also some some producers who just want this uh, looking uh, yeah. of um, lower waiting rooms, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, furnitures. Then you can get it also um, in, in, in good quality. In good quality, yeah. So yeah, so this different kind of. Um, um, Damage, but topping. Yeah. That's we, what we show here is you can have a original natural grain mm -hmm. leather and you can get a, a sanded version. Mm -hmm. What um, you know, not every hide what, what, a, what, a, what a tannery get from a slat house, you can use it for every type of leather. So around about 20% is good for aniline leather, mm -hmm. and with 80% you have to do something um, different. You have to coat yeah. it. Or um, you have to send it, or you have to do something with this that you can use it. So because of the, 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 the nature marks and everything that is on the surface is too much. And 80% yeah. of the leather what they get from a slot house is you can't from use a it. For, yeah, from yeah. a slot house you can't use it for aniline leather. Gotcha. So just 20%. That's the reason also why aniline leather is more expensive because it's rare on the market. And speaking of aniline. Uh, before we go through all your books, you have a seat next to you. Yeah, that's true. What's interesting is Aniline, certainly by my understanding, was very, very rare in automotive applications and not even in the, in the 40s and 50s was it common. It was just on very high-end cars. Um, however, what I didn't realise is that in, in recent memory, I mean, this is from a Phaeton, a VW Phaeton, lovely car. Um, and you, you, um, we had it also in the Phaeton. This seat actually now is um, from a from a Touareg. Oh, it's from Touareg. Yes, yes absolutely. Yeah. But Phaeton had uh, has you can buy a Phaeton or you, in the past you can mm -hmm. do this. Um, a Phaeton with this kind of leather and there's also some Airy Six from Audi mm -hmm. who has also the same leather inside. And there's also some BMWs that do some tests about aniline leather and um, or Buffalo leather and Nabak. And um, yeah, here is a. Uh, it's a problem. It's a, it's a really nice high-end quality leather. Mm -hmm. So from from a view of a leather technical, we will say that is that this is leather. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we mean when we say the, yeah. We and it feels absolutely gorgeous. It's yeah. super soft. And uh, you guys were a big fan of this going cars because it kept you in business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. So, but the problem of this leather is that because it's so open pore mm -hmm. or porous, um, that every liquid sucks in and produces stains. So all these stains what you see here, or all these points what you see here, is just with water, mm. coming with water. No? So it is really for a daily car, it's impossible to, to keep it clean and um, mm. to, to use it. No? Which is why, apart from cost, it's another reason why you don't get aniline leather in yes. cars, is because yeah. looking after it is, is, is it's, hard work. It's hard work, yeah. Aniline leather is good for a sofa when you have not a Big family with no children, no pets. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's fine, and or when you just love it, then it's also fine. Yeah? But um, in a car seat, it's very difficult. But it looks very nice when you look inside of a. Yeah. When you have a grey Touareg. Well, it's also in, the inside softness this, that you yeah. feel it, and you yeah. just sit in there and you're like, oh. The touch is very nice. Yeah, it is. So, so anyway, we have had a brilliant day here. Thank you so much for showing us around all the machines uh, and all the testing equipment that you've got. Um, and there's a lot of knowledge and a lot of heritage. You guys have been going for 25 years from this site, yes. and I believe a bit longer before this site was all done, and it's fascinating, whereas most businesses will, you know, when they expand, they go to a new building. What's happened here is this building has just been extended and added to and built on. <laughs> that is and, what we did, yeah. <laughs> so it's like a rabbit warren. We've regularly got sort of lost in things, and I've ended up randomly in a solvent control room, and it's fine. 
no long term effects. And um, there is so much knowledge and passion from the uh, girls who are downstairs mixing the paint. They do 80 different mixes a day on average at the moment. Um, to the guys who are um, big chunky lads who have been doing all the heavy lifting and they've got big blue barrels where they're actually mixing stuff as well. Um, the big bulk products they make off site, but all the other products are made on site and mixed from raw ingredients. Uh, and it's fascinating looking at the equipment and the process and the passion behind all of that. Um, and then even from the, the marketing wing and the admin wing, everybody seems to be on a team, which is kind of cool, I feel. Um, and you were saying how in terms of leather colouring and repair, you guys yeah. are pretty much market leaders, certainly in Germany, probably worldwide. Yeah, worldwide. And then that there are other companies that are in the sort of more bulk chemicals, the cleaning side of it, there are others. But you can really see how a company has, has grown and developed in this time. And I think it's really nice. It tells a story to it. Um, as does this room, as you say, these have been collected over many, many years. Yes, collected many, many years. So it's difficult to get all of this stuff. Well, because most yeah. of it's illegal. Yeah, you can't go, <laughs> can't go to a supermarket and just buy it. <laughs> you can't just ask him, hey, do you want to... <laughs> um, but, hey, but anyway, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. It was really a pleasure to have you here. It yes. was a lot of fun and um, yeah, thank you also that you take this long trip. And I'm happy I follow you a little bit on Facebook, so That's I'm weird. also happy that you are really <laughs> here and on time. Yeah, we're on time, despite an Audi. Um, we are going to be going off to Detail Convention tomorrow, uh, which is where you've got to zip off and start yes. setting up. Yeah. Um, so I'm sure we will be uh, touching base soon. Um, in the meantime, we're going to wander around quietly and take photos of your lovely uh, factory and yeah. within it. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you.